and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the February content preview. Now, guys, this is a video, one of my best videos on the channel. You guys absolutely go crazy on this video every time I post it. So, hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's video. Guys, I didn't realize this until now that I'm a Madden YouTuber. Like, prior to this, I always thought after the Super Bowl promo, things are a little bit dry. February is honestly one of the biggest months of content, and I never really realized it until now. I went back to last year's Madden stuff, and between February 1st and February 30th, we get approximately about four, we get three promos and one series update. So we get four continuous streams of content, not to mention one of these promos lasts for the rest of the year, so you kind of just see it for a lot, a lot of the month and the rest of the year. So I'm super excited for the month of February now that I've looked at this. Guys, there's a ton of content to be had this month. I'm going to be going over it all one by one by one. So make sure you watch the end of the video because I have them all bracketed out in a notepad here. So I'm going to go over one by one, take you over to Mudhead, show you guys some of the cards from last year, what to expect. Guys, these videos are perfect. Watch the whole thing and you guys, I promise you, you'll understand the whole month and you'll feel ready because as a Madden player, it's nice to know what's coming so you can prepare yourself, what you're going to spend on, what you want to save for, kind of if it's worth to spend here or there, as well as know what's in the upcoming Madden month. Now, I usually do, I've been doing this since about like October and you guys have always shown a lot of support in this video guys. So if you are into the channel, remember we are doing month, uh, weekend long giveaways to the Super Bowl promo. If any video hits 700 likes during the Super Bowl promo, I will give away 100,000 coins per video. So today I'm posting three videos. So if this video here gets 700 likes, I'll give away 100K. So all you gotta do to enter though, by the way, is subscribe to the channel. Make sure you subscribe because I wanna give back to a sub. Comment down below just so you're entered and like the video. So, so I gotta just enter. And now let's get into the video guys. There's so much to go over. So I wanna get into it as quickly as possible. So first promo that we will be seeing this month be honest the super bowl already came out so i don't count that so the first promo after this will be the nfl honors promo one of the more fun promos of the year and it's not really a promo it's kind of just like a drop of cards but the, the cards are super good so nfl honors promo pretty much just gives you guys L it gives us ltd cards of the cards that got awards at the nfl ceremony the award ceremony so mvp comeback player of the year offensive rookie of the year offensive uh i mean defensive player of the year defensive rookie of the year offensive player of the year uh man of the year and the only one that's really confirmed so far, I think, is Man of the Year, Cam Newton. I believe that he has the most votes, so I think it's pretty much a shoe and he's going to win. So that pretty much is that one. I'm going to take you guys over to Mudhead real quick just to show you guys some of the cards. You can see some of the stats. All right, guys, so NFL Honors typically only drops a few players. It's not many because obviously it's based on the rewards of uh, the awards in real life. So last year, NFL Defensive Player of the Year, uh, Defensive Rookie of the Year was Darius Leonard. Offensive Rookie of the Year was Saquon Barkley. Defensive Player of the Year was Aaron Donald. Offensive Player of the Year and MVP was Mahomes. So last year, we actually got one less card because Mahomes won two awards. Now this year, hopefully we don't get we don't get the same player winning bowl, so we'll actually get an extra card in Madden. We got Andrew Luck and then Chris Long. Andrew Luck, I believe, was comeback player of the year, and Chris Long was man of the year. Now, as you can see, these cards are really, really crazy good. These are some of the best cards of the year. These cards are end game, by the way, if you're wondering. So like Mahomes could be your quarterback for the rest of the year. Typically, the defensive player of the year could be on your team all year. So if it's Gilmore, gonna be one of the best cornerbacks this year. Or probably for the rest of the year. Saquon Barkley again was like an end game running back. So many good options out of these players. Now remember, they are LTD, so this isn't for the faint of heart. This is gonna be it's gonna be probably pretty expensive. Like Lamar Jackson quarterback, they're probably gonna get probably gonna be like 900k to a million coins. So not everyone can afford these cards, but it definitely is fun. And sometimes they'll give us maybe a way of getting them. Maybe they'll give us like a house rules for a nat one. That'd be pretty cool. I doubt it though. And as well as if Nick Bosa gets one of them, we probably have him as a rookie premier. So gonna be pretty awesome. Now next promo on this list because NFL Honors isn't really a promo. Not much more to talk about that. And that one comes probably. Probably coming in the next few days. Well, we will have the award ceremony, I believe. I don't know if the award ceremony is tonight or it's one day this week, and then we'll probably get the cards shortly after that. Probably after the Super Bowl, more than likely. Now, next thing we're gonna get is Ultimate Legends. Now, Ultimate Legends typically drops out. It could drop today, but it also might drop next Saturday with a reveal on Friday. Now, Ultimate Legends, guys, it's pretty much the Legends program. So I pretty much went over this yesterday. So go over to sets. It's pretty much the Legends program, but it's redone now to be the Ultimate Legends. So I see it as it's Endgame Legends. That's pretty much how you could view the promo. So only cards we're not going to get repeats of are probably Aaron Rodgers, Von Miller, Demarius Thomas, and Wagner because these are playoff legends. They're still playing today, so I don't think they'll get them. But guys like Ninkovich, Gross, Freeney, Casper, Tillman, Cunningham, Reed, Clark, Bullock, Tutal, Upshaw. These are the kind of guys that will get them. So we'll probably see another Shannon Sharp, Kevin Away, Steve Young, Lawrence Taylor. Pretty much any legend that we had, they'll probably recycle them. Sometimes they even had a few new ones like last year, Bill Romanowski. They did drop a Calvin Johnson, so we probably could be expecting a Calvin Johnson Jr., at some point during ultimate legends ultimate legends they, they range from 97 overalls to 99 overalls and typically they start with 97 the first drops usually like eight or so cards and then after that it'll be like a weekly drop of like legends like two legends 
and an LTD or three legends or four legends. It really just depends on the week. I don't know how much they alternate it, but they get progressively better. The fantasy packs are pretty much just improved legend fantasy packs. And now they're going to introduce a new lower overall piece legends. Now, can you pull legends out of them? I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, it's just like any other pack, but it still increases your odds for ultimate legends. They're usually really fun packs to open. And this promo typically spans towards the end of the year. So this is kind of the thing that I was talking about where this is going to be our new every Saturday legends. It just replaces Saturday legends, but it is super cool. I do love ultimate legends. We're going to get some great, great players as well as some guys like Calvin and maybe a few other guys we haven't gotten yet. Now, I really do like ultimate legends. Now, the next thing we're going to be seeing after ultimate legends will be the series five update. Now, as you guys know, that should be taking place next Friday, I believe February 7th. So 10 30 February 7th, we'll be getting the series update. Now, what is coming with the series update? First, we're gonna get new trophies, so series five trophies. So make sure you're using the trophies you have above because if you do not, you will be losing out because they will be cut in half when that happens. As well as a new series master. Now, last series master was really good. Not many people actually ended up getting him because a lot of things were coming out, but last series master was pretty good. It was Brandon Cooks, which is pretty solid. So I'm hoping we get a pretty good one. It's probably gonna be a 96 overall, though. I think they should make it a 97 overall because at this point in the game, 97 overalls will compete a little bit better. Now, what position could it be? I really don't know. It could be a tight end. Like, we've gotten wide receiver. We've gotten running back. We've gotten outside linebacker. I forget the other one we got, but we've gotten some pretty good ones. Now, I do anticipate that we'll probably get a pretty good one again. Now, when the first comes out, they're typically one of the better players in Madden. So, if you guys have the trophies ready for them, it could be pretty solid. I have not picked one up since Von Miller because Von Miller was the last one that's, like, been really usable for my team, per se. Beyond that, we're going to get a new max level, uh, maximum level upgrade, so we'll probably get to level 90 now. And remember, the level up grind is typically the best part of Madden sometimes. The level up grind gets you like 300k worth of quick sells, gets you a power pass, which, which saves you like 500k within itself. We'll probably get like a 96 overall power pass. Going to be a very good series update. And now with what we're, what, the point we're at at Madden, we're probably going to get the Gauntlet Master, I believe. So typically when they release the third Gauntlet, they typically let us get the Master with it. So we have Gauntlet 1, Gauntlet 2. Typically, when they do Gauntlet 3, so we'll have three sets of free players, and then you can put all the tokens you got from the three Gauntlets together and get a Master Player, which is like a 96, 95 overall Master version of one of these Gauntlet cards, which is super cool. Last year, I remember I was able to get like a 95 overall player. So, if we're getting to a point where we're going to be getting a lot of free players. We're going to be getting from all these new promos, the series, and the level of ground gets the power pass. And that pretty much wraps up the series update because that in all in all is pretty much what we should be expecting from that now we still have two more promos guys this is a pretty big month next we got the team builders and mvp so the team mvp and team builder promo this promo is super cool and this promo is they released some really usable players but this promo is aimed at theme teams for the most part so let me take you guys over to mudhead so i can show you guys while i explain the team mvp promo as you guys can see spans from like it's pretty much 97 overalls and it's pretty much like the theme diamond program so you guys remember the theme diamond program all release like one player from each team but those were legends this was going to be modern day players now this pretty much gives us one of the players that they deem as the mvp of this team this year and it's not always the actual best player but it is one of their best players and they get 97 overalls and the way you get them is by using the team builders so each team's going to be having team builders literally like the theme diamond program as you guys saw it's a the master right here and then it'll be composed of a bunch of like nine, uh, 80 overall to 95 overall players on this team, which is why it is one of the best programs for theme teams. Like let's say a Lions theme team that doesn't have much love this year. You'll get Darius Slay and then you'll get like seven or 10 more players to add to the team. Very solid for theme teams. But even the masters sometimes are usable. So like we had some pretty good ones last year. Forrest Buckner was pretty solid. We got Juwan James, which is a pretty good right tackle, like a really solid right tackle. David Johnson was a pretty good running back. We got Mike Evans. We got John Johnson, Shaq Mason, Travis Kelsey, which was a really solid one. Jalen Smith. We get one for every team, so remember, there's going to be quite a lot. Khalil Mack was one of the best ones last year that we got from out of this. Although Khalil Mack this year already looks like he's better than this one, so hopefully we get a little bit of upgraded stats. We got Julio Jones, Xavier Howard was super solid. But you guys get the point there. Team MVP is going to be like just a bunch of 97s, and the way you get them, there's going to be reroll sets for them, which is what a lot of people did, trading exchanges for them. There's going to be sets. Now, do I really like this promo? I think it's pretty cool because you get a lot of the best players from your favorite teams, like Nate Soldier. I mean, as a Giants fan, I'm not exactly happy with Nate Soldier, but... It's gonna be a lot of good players. Now, this promo typically is one of those promos that last year they dropped in segments. So they like announced all 32 and we slowly got them like per week. Now this one only lasts like a few weeks though. It's not like it takes weeks to get them, but it does take a few weeks, but it's not gonna be months, I should say. This, this promo is pretty cool, especially for all you theme team guys or guys that just wanna start building one. And even if not, it's still a good promo to make coins. And typically they gave us a house rules last year to get one of these for free nat which I think I actually ended up getting uh, Khalil Mack out of. So it's definitely pretty cool. It's pretty cool they do that. I mean, obviously you can get a bad one, but you gotta hope for the best. Now, onto our final promo, guys. It's going to be the Combine 
promo. Now the combine promo is one of the most, it's one of the most fun programs of the year specifically. Now if you guys know the combine program, it's pretty much the combine heading into the draft, which is where all the NFL prospects all show their talents and showcase their skills for the NFL scouts. Now this pretty much, this promo gives you guys the most athletic players from the combine history it's more recently than old usually but guys this promo is so fun because you get super athletic players so usually the master's always chris johnson like literally every year it's chris johnson chris johnson always gets a 99 speed so that's one of the most fun parts about it because chris johnson was the combine master at the uh with the 40 yard dash tyree kills up there now so i think tyree kill might actually get tossed into this because he did have a really fast 40 although i don't think he did it at the combine i'm pretty sure he did it at like a, a pro day an unofficial time but it's it, but we'll have to see on that part but Adrian Amos we get because he finished top 10 in the safeties among six of the seven drills. Lattimore, super athletic. Clowney, super athletic. Frank Clark, super athletic. John Rawls, super athletic. Josh Allen. Pretty much we're going to get a skew of, on, on, of athletic cards. Typically, Patrick Peterson is one of the best ones that we get from this. Byron Jones, he had 99 jumping because he had the uh, the crazy vertical jump and broad jump. I think he has the broad jump record. And then beyond that, we always get like a Luke Keekly. Vernon Davis is always an amazing tight end out of this because he's super fast. We always get an Odell. Guys, it's pretty much, the combine promo is pretty predictable. Marcus Mariota, we typically get a skew of just a lot of athletic players. McCaffrey might get one. Marquise Goodwin because he was an Olympic sprinter. You guys pretty much get the point. The combine promo is going to be kind of like any other promo. There's going to be sets, reroll sets, and of course training. And again, last year they gave us they gave us those master type sets where you could put them in for NAT cards, which I always love, as well as giving us house rules in order to allow us to be able to get one for free so that pretty much sums it up guys we're going to get oh and there'll be solos obviously there'll be solos and by the way for the team mvp promo which i forgot to mention they did have a currency last year called scouts which we were able to use for reroll sets and stuff i don't know if they'll do a currency for it again because they have straight away from doing that a little bit this year now by the way the combine promo they usually go from 97 to 99 overalls i don't know what they'll do this year for the lower ones but the master's always 99 overall and this has been a promo that's been here since as long as madden's been alive this is always one of the biggest promos and this does lead up to the nfl draft promo but for the month of february we got the nfl honors we got ultimate legends we got series 5 master team builders and team mvps now let's head over to the madden screen to close up this video so that pretty much wraps up this video i hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did enjoy the video make sure to go down below enter the giveaway by the way which all you gotta do is enter subscribe to the channel comment down below anything just to enter so your name can be pulled and make sure to subscribe oh, and make sure to like the video obviously if we get 700 likes on any video i will be doing the giveaway and specifically on this video guys if you guys show crazy support i'd really appreciate that you guys typically love this video this is the february content preview i hope you guys did enjoy make sure to enjoy the rest of your day make sure to pop out to all the other videos today i'm out see you guys in the next video peace